It's early in the morning, and Roblox is beginning to wake up. Something big is happening behind the scenes. An argument between two players, Minish and Merely, lines the front page of the Roblox forums. A man who goes by the username Ellernate is experimenting with one of Roblox's test sites. On these test sites, player databases are wiped and usernames are up for grabs. It's entirely separate from the main Roblox website. Or so it should have been. You see, Ellernate is not using the test site like most others do. He's not spending the thousands of Robux brand new accounts start with. He's not interacting with the small community that prefers the test site over the main site. He's taking advantage of the completely empty player database. He creates a brand new account using the username of a Roblox admin. Once the account is created, he uses inspect element to find unique code generated for each user. It's called Security. He copies the code and pastes it into the main Roblox website. This is the story of Roblox's biggest hack. Do you recognize this message? If you've played Roblox for a long time, you've probably received something like it at one point. You probably also know it's one of the most common methods for stealing accounts. The story usually goes something like this. A random player reaches out with an offer that just seems too good. A developer wants to put your character in their game, and they're only one step away. In order for them to add your character into the game, they need a unique code only you can send them. They tell you to click inspect element, find the section labeled .robo security, and send them the code it gives you. It's easy, and they even offer Robux in exchange for it. While it's pretty well known now that this is just an easy way for someone to gain access to your account, it wasn't always well known. Most of the community was unfamiliar with how it worked or what it even was, and scammers were just finding out how they could use it to its full potential. This is Ellernate, a scammer and a nobody at the time, but someone who will soon have his name in the Roblox history books. He's an avid poster on the Let's Make a Deal subform and created a game which had amassed over a million visits, which was a lot back in 2012. On this specific morning, he's using the Roblox test site and experimenting with some of his scams, when he has a new idea. Not wasting any time, he creates an account on the Roblox test site and on the main site with identical usernames. He opens up the .roblo security page and compares the two values. They're exactly the same. Now understanding that the security codes stay the same over both sites, he quickly creates an account using the username of a Roblox admin. He copies the security code and pastes it onto the main site. With access to an admin account, Ellernate now has access to Roblox's admin panel. With this, he has the power to moderate players, upload items to the marketplace, send push notifications website-wide, and more. The community and the Roblox administrators quickly begin to look for answers. The forums go crazy with theories and questions, but nobody knows the truth. Behind the scenes, Ellernate is showing the vulnerability to two of his friends. Meet Caleb244 and iTrapped, two players who along with Ellernate plan to cause as much chaos as possible. Like before, Ellernate continues to send alert banners across the website, saying things like April Fools and playing Roblox is always better than going outside. At the time, players might have pushed it off as a joke done by Roblox themselves. However, Caleb244 and iTrapped have very different ideas in mind. Caleb244 used the test website to gain access to more accounts across the website, some even being administrators. He heads to the forums impersonating the admins and posts jokes and inappropriate content. He gives random players admin permissions and even posts on the forums using the original Roblox account. iTrap took things a step up and completely ruined Roblox's economy. Items on the marketplace are dropped to extremely low prices or even free. He creates new items, the most famous one being a smiley face for 100 Robux. For some reason the item wasn't actually able to be purchased, but the hackers added the item in the Stigmaster Luke's inventory, the creator of natural disaster survival. Expensive items are given out to various accounts for free, and all three of them give themselves dominuses and other expensive items. After several hours of Roblox being unable to figure out what was going on, the website shuts down. 
What you're looking at is footage recorded in a Roblox game immediately after the website shut down. Players were locked in whatever game they were playing and they had no idea what was going on. What started off as a simple April Fool's prank quickly evolved into one of Roblox's biggest compromises. A few hours later, the website returned and all seemed normal. The entire Roblox economy had to actually be reset to a few hours before the hack took place because the damage was so bad. The smiley face was taken off sale and to this day, Stickmaster Luke is the only one who owns it. Ellernate and Nightrapped were banned permanently off the site, however Caleb244 remained for some reason. Roblox fixed their major oversight with how account security codes were created and no longer could any player sign into any account using the test sites. It was a huge security issue that had somehow gone unnoticed for years, but it was also something anybody could have done. Former Roblox admin Gordon Rock 24 even said it was nothing, you'll never see it happen again. And he was right, it's now been over 11 years since the breach occurred and nothing of this scale has happened since.